Hello there, everyone, and welcome back to Cousin Redux. I'm your host, Mr. Mocha Lover, and right now, military research set back. Today marked the opening of a new hospital in blank. As more localized formal government under the Zemsta allows for local leaders to react more quickly and precisely to the needs of the local citizenry, the new hospital marked a fast response to what could otherwise have turned into a regional health crisis in the wake of a rapid growth. As living standards improve, so too will satisfaction with the government. Incompetent fools, which looks pretty bad, but... Um, I did ask you guys yesterday whether we should do expansionism or... Well, you can see we already, we already chose expansionism. Um, well, or pol real politic. Overall, there's more support right now for expansionism. My bad, but... Uh, expansionism. The theory of expansionism constitutes that Russia's border is only safe as they are distant from a heartland. Every neighboring state which is not a puppet of the Roman Russian state is, as such, a threat or target. Depending on the military and political strength. Needless to say, this adaptation of policies will not be well liked by the rest of the world, so... My apologies, apologies, but like, overall, there's a lot more support for expansionism. However, someone did say in the comments, say, um, save the real politic path for a more slightly left, at least slightly left leaning group or nation or ideology. So, I definitely will play this path again. And probably, honestly, when we go with Mursky, Mursky, with the left Eurasianists, will probably remind me to do real politic. So, we'll go ahead and go down that way for now. And with this, choose a name for a faction. We can seek allies, but secure Central Asia. Unlike the Caucasus region, there's no German interest in the Central Asian provinces. We should be able to grab them without much opposition from the Great Powers, which is a probably a good idea. And we will try to crush the Reich's Pact. I've already gone ahead and done some other stuff. It's relatively right-leaning. So, another comment was, Try out Novum Vaxilium Mod as a national in America. So it says we should create an empire with all of, the, of Europe and China. And go slightly more left-wing to be more balanced so ideology, ideologically. So... Um, rule of moderately right leaning. Uh, I'm not sure there's a way to do that now. Um, uh, I guess we probably increase support for someone here, but I think we'll probably wait. Ooh, relatively right rule of intelligence. Yeah. Ooh, that's not bad. So Roman Jakobson needs more of that. I don't know. I think that's a good idea for Orthodox Eurasianism. I think it's probably better to be more balanced. So uh, the center goes down. Roman Jakobson. Um, I would prefer it to get more than just that. I don't want to lower the uh, stability. It's going to get even lower, which we don't really necessarily want. So, we can build the Ivanskovskaya Hydroelectric Station. Oh, yes, please. And it's over here. The Kaminsky Yurolsky Ura uh, Aluminum Plant. Not uranium, but aluminum. Also, I did force out some of these divisions just because... Oh, actually, you guys are over there. Uh, wow, we have a lot of volunteers out, don't we? Uh, go there. There you go. There you go. Just because I do want to go to the War of the Reichs back. They're doing not bad. They're not doing great. They're, you know, they're defending fairly okay against you know, Austria-Hungary, but still. Once we open another front up, once those divisions are up there, we should do relatively okay, but you never know. Dr. Phil, thank you for playing. Head down, down to Kiev. Nice. Yeah, overall, not bad around here, though. And if we do go to war, that gives, does give us some time. But even though, eh, expansionism, eh, we don't have to go to war with anyone else immediately. How much manpower do these guys have? Three more intelligence would be great. That's a lot of manpower. Okay, that's a lot. So, and we're actually... Ooh. we do that, too. Build, 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 if you possibly can. We only need more manpower, more political power, more... Pretty much everything, actually. kind of sucks. Yeah, go to three. Because we need more factories on here, on down there. Um, yeah, it's not looking great for our guys. Right now, our tanks, though, are looking pretty not great. So, I also want at least one medium tank. We don't need that many light tanks, so. Um, light tanks, where are you at? We're going to have two. At least fill up for these guys, which would be nice. We have expansionism, and then it was in secure Central Asia. Maybe we'll wait. Uh, mm, that would be bad. And yeah, maybe Central Asia would be good. Don Kaban Union, huh? The 77? Not bad. We might. Oh, renaming Petrograd. Now that we've decided to revive the monarchy in Russia, there are still reminders of the revolutionary year of 1917. Some geographical features can still, still praise the revolution, while others argue uh, that were named for symbols are, are, uh, of our great country lost in the original names after the revolution. If we want the second Russian Empire to be worthy a successor to the first, we need to erase the reminder of the revolution. Sankt Petersburg? Shumi's still enemy? Petrograd sounds more patriotic. Um, I'm gonna kill the milk anyways, yeah. It's our enemy. I think we'll go this one, just for now. Peter City, Sankt Peterburg. We're still gonna kill them off, so. Oh, initiate social reforms. Alright, so, more balance. I think just, that would make more sense. It really does, at least my 
from my opinion, like it, nuclear Russia. But uh, it just it makes it feel more balanced that way. That we do that. Be ideologically balanced. Research delays suck though. Oh my goodness. National Armored School, relatively right leaning for now, which is not bad. But this gives more organization. But whatever. Passive defense. Radio interception. Oh, yes, very good. Can we see how many divisions they have? Uh, honestly, they're, oh wow, they're not strong. Are you guys good to go? Yeah, you, honestly, you probably should be. Yeah, get ready to go. You guys are fine, hanging out. Oh, they actually pushed up more than Germany. You guys, whatever. And then you guys, you guys have done great. So, um, yeah, let's go and crush rice back if we can. Uh, the time has come for us to end the injustice inflicted by the first Valkyrie and strike back at the Darnable Kaiser. Rostovsk shall be avenged. Oh, 40 days? What? Oh, whatever. Oh, uh, do you all sense, though? Choosing the name for a faction. And I'll make a large investment. And research facilities. Uh, Commonwealth in of Independent Nations. The NCIN? SIN? Um, Eurasian Block. Moscow Court, Eurasian Block. I mean... A deal with the devil? As the tanks roll west and Russian boots will soon march through uh, Kiev and Riga, our government has turned its eyes south to the precious oil deposits of the Caucasus and the previously held regions of Georgia, Armenia, and Azerbaijan. By doing so, however, we are likely to infringe on the Turkish sphere of influence, an action that has yet, has yet unclear consequences. A Turkish week, you're recovering from decades of warfare and economic devastation, but the armies still stand, and it may be in our best interest to ensure a southern flank cannot be exploited by German allies. Therefore, the ministry has come up with a plan to divide the Caucasus and eastern and middle east between our two empires, including a 10-year non-aggression pact with the Ottoman Turks, which should bar their intervention in the roots of the German war. This sounds like... Honestly, that's very strong. Um, different max solution? That sounds like that should be for another group. And actually, oh, you guys are going to train the front too, hero? That's kind of wild, I'm not going to lie. Feng Chong government is looking pretty thick as well. Honestly, the more they take out, and the more they annex, the less nations technically have to go to war, maybe? I don't know, Steve. Keep them on the roads for now. 1.9 is pretty nice, though. Uh, Kerensky's legacy. For your name, Volgograd, Novosibirsk, and Petrovarts. As part of the Kerensky reforms in the 20s, many cities were renamed. The names of some bore reminders of the monarchical past of Russia. Others were called in the German manner the worst enemy of Russia because of which the great changes of the last 20 years took place. Now that Kerensky's identity is considered highly controversial as is his politics, it may be time to restore the old names of these cities under which they saw the glorious times in the history of a motherland. Under new names, they experience only the instability and crisis or crises of the young Russian democracy. Let's return to the reflection of the glorious times. Uh, certain? Yeah, why not? Oh! Bringing back the imperial names from Momonsk and other smaller towns. After the February Revolution and the fall of the Russian Empire administration. Started pursuing the tsarification of various historical cities, especially in the uh, city names. A prominent example being Romanov na Murman. Now that the empire's return and the situation looks more stable day by day, those cities shall be returned to the original names. Romanov na Murman shall remain on the map at once. The me memory of Tsar's Russia shall never perish. Um, uh, I guess. Attack the last order? Uh, we're a little busy right now, so we're not going to do that yet. What do you mean the east? Oh, get more cores. I like that. And he's in the west. The Germans are eternal rivals. They think that their domination over us is final. We shall show them how wrong they are, which is not very much, but seek allies. With our block established, it's time we seek out allies, for we cannot hope to take on Germany alone. Imperial Man. I I've seen that before, but... Oh. Their eyes. Holy crap. That sounds looks amazing. Yeah, I don't know. This... Oh, you actually don't have a, gen you have a generic focus tree. Okay. Whatever. We need more guns. I know we're not really ready for this, but at the same time. Gonna, gonna be forced to be ready for him, so. Now let's keep doing, keep doing what we're doing. Because we'll go to War Economy, but probably we'll honestly go to limited conscription first. Did we get more manpower? Oh, because we, we did that stuff earlier. Cool. The game, as you can tell, is very laggy, so hopefully getting rid of Germany will be very nice. Even though they just got hungry. Okay, then. Yeah, once these guys swarm through here. I think I'd eat up Austria, too. That'd be awesome. I'd love that. Any upgrades? Ooh. Nice. Good job, guys. Corner love? Nothing there. As is typical. How are these American divisions doing? Okay. Nice. Very good. Um, That's not bad. That's pretty good. Oh, nice. Yeah. A lot of good stuff there. Uh, do East Prussia, why not? 1940, huh? We'll probably want to stop training our ships then. 
Go home, go home. Probably want some better planes, too. Well, we don't have a lot, especially fighters. We go, good luck. Yeah, going to war without fighters is probably a really bad idea, so. Hungary. Oh, goodbye, Hungary. So they're stacking a few more soldiers here, which I don't think they'll be able to hold. They'll definitely be able to hold up here. Probably. Oh, oh these are. Oh. Ah, you are part of that group. You just fine, whatever. Um, Kremlin Project. Let's see, let's come back to here. I mean, the East. And the Caucasus? The Caucasus is wealthy and part of Russia. Historically, the people who live there might not, they might not think so anymore, but with enough military muscles, that shouldn't be a problem. Germany will allow to keep a close eye on us and should trade. We should tread carefully in the region. My goodness, it takes so long to go to war with them. Three days, though, three days. Once Ukraine falls, like, should be able to blitz through here. Maybe not super fast, but. And okay, speed. All right, here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. Here we go. Let's go in. We're definitely not going to be able to run up here, but you know what? Oh, okay, I'm going to go wrong. Russian boots march west of Germany. Oh, you guys, oh crap, that's not good. You guys actually go in here, maybe? I definitely need sand tanks up here, so probably not, honestly. Um, it's definitely a mixed bag, actually. Anton, this looks. The both of those will be. Oh, we, get, we did get both of those. Nice. We'll see what happens. Sold for now. So we guys are actually forty combo with. So these guys are really holding out here, which makes sense. But at the same time, oh, you're getting attacked too, huh? Well, we're here to just bleed Germany a whole bunch. So, let's grab this first. War economy. And then we're going to grab the conscription next. These guys are going to die here, definitely, though. Yeah, as long as we just push fast enough through here, this won't be too much of an issue, probably, hopefully. Oh, there's a lot of lag. Oh! Nice. They're literally actually capitulated. Look at that. So, Austria cannot focus on these guys. Nice. Oh, we ran some divisions. Awesome. The up here is not as good. Actually, we're doing real. We actually pushed over. Nice. We actually got over that river. Losses, though. 14,000 is quite a bit. Um, we're not even on the man map yet for these guys. Ukraine. They've, we've killed off 80,000 of them already. Oh, we got quite a few more divisions here to work with, too, which is awesome. There you go. There you go. Hey, we cut these guys in half. Now that's nice. Yeah, we're gonna lose this for now, but that doesn't really matter too much, so. Sure, guys. Keep going, keep going. Sure, why not? Nope, we're good. We're good. I mean, I'm, I'm honestly, right now, I'm baiting. Uh, betting, not just baiting, but betting on the fact that we should be able to get some guns from Ukraine once they capitulate, because we, good God, we need guns. Oh, yeah. We're, oh, I guess we need some support to come in too, I guess. Nice. Six divisions here, yep. I think it was seven, but. Seek allies, yeah. Follow it up with, enemy in the east. Ever since the Russo-Japanese war, the true enemy of Russia has been, and will always be, the J rising empire in the east. They're extremely rich and populous regions of China would also serve us very well. Norway actually wants to join our alliance. They approach us with the intention of signing a mutual defense agreement. And practice agreement would make Norway a member of our sphere. Well, while we would become responsible for the defense of territories in the European mainland, we would also be to improve our strategic position. The Norwegian coast is long and crucial to conduct operations into the North Atlantic and North Sea. You know what? We'll take them, because we could probably use them, honestly. So, a bunch of social democrats, nice. Losses, what, 50,000? Yeah, I was right. 
Is Sweden? Yeah, Swedish state's there too, huh? Well, they wanted to join, so why are they joining, man? On Ching is gone, all or nothing armor scheme? Good. Yeah, once the Ukrainians fall, that's going to be pretty much the end of them, probably. Fall of Vienna. At least that is my hope. You guys actually will be able to win if you just... We were smart about this. Nice. No, two divisions here, that's not bad. Oh! Rat! Well, that's not good. Oh, that's really bad. Well, that's quite bad, I'm not gonna lie. That's pretty bad. Uh... How did they get, come into the war, though? Krasnoy? Hmm. Here's what we're gonna have to do. You should come here. Like that. It was time for us to reorganize the line anyway, so. Seven divisions ain't too bad. What do you mean you have orders? I literally gave you orders right here. Seek allies, good. Um, Brown Commissars, expand the AMO. Mechanization of our infantry is very expensive, but it will offer substantial protection, firepower, mobility to our leg infantry. It won't be easy, but it will definitely be worth it. Good. They're dead. As they should be. Yeah, this, over here, we gotta just beat the fins. Just go. This is gonna be really bad for us, but as long as we can hold the line, we can use these tanks probably pretty darn effectively to just spread out. And they'll come up from the rear and just take them out that way. As we love the rear. What? Uh, well, maybe I did attack them. Hmm. Okay, so do they do they go to war with us just because we do this stuff? I mean, I didn't even do that. I mean, East though. Why are they going to war with us immediately? Why did we get no? We get nothing about nothing about this. Hmm. Well, they got a long, 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 long way for them to walk. Also, also the, the mod. Oh, if you wonder about. If you're wondering about this, please go right ahead at this point, you know. But, let's see. Russian Academy of Sciences. With us leading as an important alliance, we can't forget that scientific cooperation is key in ensuring a potent leading position in the world. We should credit the RAS to help with the research of new technologies. Nice. So yeah, if these guys can hold out, that's fine. And then once these guys are over here and actually, you know, basically win. Because of all the armor that's moving around here, that'd be great. Honestly, I don't know why you cannot win over here. This is Ukraine. It makes more sense if we can't win up here. But Ukraine, we should be able to beat. Because we need to. Because I'm going to kind of sacrifice the East for now. So, just saying. Down here, we should be able to win, though. We should definitely be able to win. Because we're going to attack them from the rear. And cut them off from basically all the supply. So. And okay, now you're going to attack as well. I know we're really out of guns, but... Military innovations, hey! Our bright minds and research staff in blank are reporting that they made significant advances in the military engineering research, leading the way. Uh, with new patented inventions, their efforts will make work easier for our research teams across the country. Excellent. Slightly ahead of time, but I'd rather do that one ahead of time than anything else. Um, honestly, War is not bad. Eurasian Senate, we try to be balanced here. We do both of these. Oh, well, three divisions, yeah, that's going to be impossible to beat. I love how hard the game lags sometimes. It's just like, wow. What are you doing here? Oh, wait. I you were tanks. Uh, 
that kind of sucks. What if we could get Kiev? That'd be great. If we could get, like, M Minsk, that'd be great as well. If, what, what are these guys? We have to beat these guys here. I gotta beat these guys here. How is Germany this strong? I do not understand, man. Definitely a challenge. I'd say this is definitely a challenge, so... Yeah, with well, these guys spreading out more, obviously every division is going to be easier to help kill off, but, like... Holy crap, this is not easy. Of course, they are Cossacks as well, and these guys marching east, it's going to take them so long. Hey, Kiev is finally ours. Yeah, we got to beat the Ukraine up first. Better radar is nice. Uh, land auction is coming along as well. Get some better... Oh, yes. Definitely some better artillery. Get this go this way. Nice. Anything else? Oh, invite Serbia, yes. Once we once fought Germany and Austria on behalf of Serbia, although the Valkyrie cost us dearly. Well, they're actually now in a strong position. Perhaps it would be fitting for us both if Serbia and Serbia might right the wrongs of Valkyrie together. Eh, yeah, might as well try it out, right? Uh, there you go. We lost a lot of guys already. I mean, we can't give up the attacks. I mean, honestly, we cannot. They're almost out of manpower, too, so that's awesome. Let's give a little more oomph. Uh, there you go. Keep heading down there. Oh, the battleship down there. Look at that. The Ukraine's got to be close to capitulating. Once the Ukraine's gone, like, it's it's blitz time. Because the, fin the Finns are dying, too, which is awesome. Well, not awesome for the Finns, but it's awesome for us. I feel like we just have to keep attacking here. Hold, I guess, for now. I, I literally paused it. Why, why do you keep attacking? That doesn't make any sense. Listen to your orders. Yeah, you can honestly do that one. That's fine. Yeah, you guys keep going here. Hey, cut off two divisions. Nice. That's what we like to see here. Um, If we could get this tile and Zithomir, that would be glorious. That should be enough to force the Germans to... Stop attacking as much. They refused. Serbia's outrageously refused to request to form an alliance. If they will not come to the discussion table, then war is the only solution to this problem. For now, we'll have to wait, but mark our words, Russia will return. Their loss. Oh, we got... Oh, God, we got more guns, which is awesome. Not enough, but whatever. Yeah, the guys are just walking straight through us, which sucks, but whatever. Is Poland part... Ah, oh, they are part of the Reich's pact. Cool. Go in. They're going to fall, and they're going to regret that they did this. Because we're doing really okay down here. They're out of manpower, so. It's awesome. Go in. Expand the AMO. And then, or expand ammo. And then the Kremlin Project. The next war won't be won in the end by conventional means. The power of the atom is, great way, is too great to ignore. Our state must fund research and facilities to develop nuclear weapons. Yeah, absolutely. We gotta keep going. Doesn't matter. Just keep going. Oh, for the love of God, cut these guys off. Please, 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 please. Right here. Right here. This is the perfect opportunity to cut these guys off. And we've got it right here. Let's go right here. Yes. Improve Kiri, not bad. I'll uh, get some deck armor. Level two, level three, level two. Not better than that one, but you know what? Whatever. And then, so, eh, you know what? We need to make it whatever. Cool. Make sure we at least throw on some better radar. Level three heavy engines. Level two. Level three battleship stuff. Level two. Yeah, get some more attack there. Just do some normal heavy battery stuff. Um, over here, secondary batteries. I don't know if we actually will ever need this, but whatever. And some better anti-air Thank you very much. And there you. Please win here. Or there, but really, I don't mind that one. Yeah, there's a lot of red. It's not good. Come on, Finland, give up. Finland, give up, give up, give up. Finish off down here. The Finns have got to capitulate soon, right? Because once these guys are gone, we're going to start attacking Sweden through with the north, and it's in half part, part of the army this way, so... These guys have got to be given up soon, right? We just overran a division, which is awesome. They're literally out of manpower, though. So. Here, do this. Oh, 
Oh wow, they're really attacking us now. Holy crap. Hey, Finlan, thank God you're gone. Alright, so we're gonna do this. Um, do it like that first. Convert you guys to 40s. Cause you guys, I'm gonna send you to the Far East now. Actually, you know what? Screw it, no. I need, we need to finish this area off first. And you're gonna be the big hitters striking into this area here. That'll be good. You got plenty of manpower too, so. They're attacking us. Kind of crazy, like. Are we really going anywhere now? Just hold for now. Yeah, they're, they're attacking us. Let, let them attack us. Uh, we're winning here, honestly. Why let us win? Bad. Yes. Good. Keep going. Wait, what? I told you to go in here. You're just in case you that too. We'll be fine. This could be a lot more disastrous, honestly. But it could be better for us. Can I actually go in there? Hey, look at that. Yeah, I think we're overstretched here, pretty much. Honestly, like, how much more manpower do they have? Oh, they're mobilizing even more. Which does suck, but at the same time, we need to retreat a little bit first. Just retreat. Because these guys, once these guys are down, we're going to just... We're going to just wail on them. Yeah, let them attack us still. Let them attack us, let them attack us. And then we'll do more of a general attack. Because Germany is still losing. Like, they've lost more southern Germany. They're beating up Austria really well and hungry. But at the same time, it's not going to be enough for them. And even though we're not doing great here. With these guys coming down. Because they're all... Well, they should all be down here by now. Um, wait as well. You know what? Do that. They're not going to be able to survive. There you go. Or at least they shouldn't be able to. Uh, that looks pretty good. Why not? We've already lost a quarter million. White Ruthenia is so close to capitulation. If we take another victory point, that might be it. Oh, hey, that looks pretty good for us. Yeah, you go to war with those guys. You tell us how it goes. Take Pinsk. That might just be enough to capitulate them. That literally might be it. Oh, we're doing quite well down here, aren't we? Are we ready? Nice. A little bit of time, but not that out of time. Three, two, one. Shell the living crap out of them. They want to go to war with... Wait, Georgia? Oh. Go here. I love how you tell the game to hold and just not do that, but they still want to do it anyways. Oh, come on, man. You're not going to be able to beat these tanks, man. You're not going to be able to beat them. What else, stuff? I'll go up there, too. Cool. Oh, they're really attacking us now. Just get Pinsk. That's all I literally want right now. From a project... And VVSR? The VVSR, the Vognonov, Vodzdujne, CLA Rossi, or Russian military air force is badly outdated. We use the same planes and tactics today that we did 20 years ago. By expanding our air bases and training new recruits, we can change this. Nice. Well, as long as we win there, that's what I really care about. Look at all this. It's a gigantic mess. Well, we got the capital. We should be able to win there. These guys, it, fighting land war just sucks, so it, we still got some time. Uh, well, we could try, but they said no last time. What? Right. 
Uh, sure. Oh, go ahead and say, yeah, why not? Oh, we've linked up. Nice. Well, for now, until that goes bye-bye again. Come on, white through Thenia. Come on. Gonna be slow going. That's all right. We got us. We got this. Hey, Latvia's gone. Goodbye, Latvia. That opened up so much more territory for us to fix. I was gonna suck so hard. Bro, don't go there. Get, stop it. Go this way. Go this way. C literally cut them off. This is where you want to go. This is literally where you want to go. Cut all these divisions off. Kill them off. This has turned into one heck of a bloody conflict. Hey! Bloody, bloody conflict. Tibet's gone too. Nice. Go in. Their allies abandoned them. Why should we not kill them off? Go in. You should honestly be able to be able to push in in a few places here. This though, of course. Then again, I mean, we don't have, we don't have air superiority. Like, let's be real here. We do not have air superiority right now. So, at the same time, like, they're they still can't beat some of these guys up, and they're not even some of these guys are not on core territory anymore. So yeah, overall, like, I was I was getting oh look at this. This is beautiful. You guys cut them all off. Um, I was a little panicked that we wouldn't be able to kill these guys off. But honestly, after seeing all this, I kind of already did cut them all off, so. That's a lot of divisions going to die here. Because they're cut off from the capital, which is awesome. This guy's definitely going to die. Yeah. How oh, strong is... Oh, no, he's doing pretty darn well. Jimmy's got 2 million manpower, which is good for them. You know, good for them. You guys, I've not really done too much. I'm probably going to regret saying that later, but still. Come on, this is... Hey! Nice! That's what we like to see. There's not so much that we need to win. we got to make sure our enemies lose. Watch out, they call it in Finland. Oh no, we got to fight the Finns. Too bad we already got rid of them. Oh, Cuba! Oh, not Cuba. Oh, anything but the Cubans. Oh, look at that. If we could get that one, that'd be so good, but whatever. Like, Poland, you gotta be running out of manpower, right? Oh, they literally are. Holy crap, yeah. They're out. They're done. Oh, these guys... Oh, there's 19... Oh, my gosh. This is going a lot better than I thought it would be. Oh! <gasps> Oh my goodness, they all died. Um, disorganization, air superiority. I kind of, well, I like both. Let's do air superiority. While bombers may damage our opposition, not a single one of them will reach the targets without sufficient protection from our fighters. These fighters can also provide cover for own troops and industry. Followed up with the ORT system. The Okrana Ortsendinia is already set up a so-called radio technology system. Inspired by foreign technologies, they believe that they can keep track of any hostile troop movements if only they're fed enough resources. Cool. But yeah, oh, we're fighting these guys too. God dang it. Urgh. This sucks. This is a really huge front that we can't really manage yet. So we just gotta hold. Which gives us time to finish these guys off. And which gives us time to finish these guys off. So right now, we're, my goal is just to hold this entire line. Um, yeah. This is looking great. Oh my goodness. This is good. So once this area is done, we will finish off this area. And of course, I'm gonna, I mean, we're gonna certainly send some more guys over here too, but. It's not like it's super important. And yeah, it's resources that we're going to lose by the same time. It increases arms production, which is awesome, right? Is it not so awesome? It is awesome. With investments by the local merchants in modernizing production methods, it has recently resulted in a large tick up or uptick in productivity. With goods filling source shelves at record speeds, we should also count ourselves lucky that the benefits of these investments are trickling down to our many state-run companies as well. 
Most civilian goods are not, but we're equally concerned about the more pressing matters of the state defense. Excellent. But, unfortunately, like the last episode, I must end it here. If you enjoyed it, though, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below. Here are the casualties so far. Almost half a million for us, which is insane, which is really bad, but... And then again, we've killed off 58,000 Germans, uh, two and a quarter million, almost a quarter million Poles, uh, 86,000 White Ruthenians, and almost 600,000 Ukrainians. Thanks for watching. Have a great, great, great rest of your day.